supported or compactly supported uh, ethyl cohomology. So section section nine. Compactory supported cohomology. Okay, we, we use uh, the compactory supported cohomology to construct a representation from the rapporting space. So please, please recall uh, that uh, in the uh, to talk of Yoshida san, the Rapporting space is a uh, invariantly many different union of uh, of disks or uh, something. So if if you take cohomology, use the cohomology of it, then it becomes the product of M rig H and even if the, uh, the, the, each of these uh, uh, this is smooth representation, this this might, might not be a smooth representation. So it is not good for uh, constructor representation. But uh, if you, you 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 take the compactly supported cohomology, which I introduce later, then it becomes the direct product of rig. And if, if these are smooth representations, then this is also smooth representation. So that, that is why we, we prefer the compactly supported cohomology. Uh, if, 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 uh, <coughs> We want to construct a representation. And to, to define it, to define, to we should uh, define, uh, define a proper morphism uh, in the addix, uh, in the addix space world. And it is, uh, the, 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 the definition is uh, not, not immediate. Uh, we, we need uh, more finite conditions. Uh, which is slightly uh, uh, strange one. <coughs> so let so let me introduce some fundamental notions. So assume that we are given um, continuous homomorphism of continuous homomorphism of. Uh, Complete tight rings, and we say that every weakly of finite, every weakly finite type. So uh, pre pre previously we, we defined that F, uh, every uh, finite type, but today we, we uh, define. Uh, weaker version of finite f. <coughs> the, uh, if, uh, if it is said to be weakly finite type, if if uh, b b triangle it's isomorphic to a triangle t one t n divided uh, by some ideal as topological as topological a triangle algebra finite type uh, uh, finite, uh, the condition of finite type requires that b plus is also a quotient of a plus so we, we can take a same generator of uh, this and this, uh, but uh, weak weak finite type requires only the finite s on this triangle, this ring, over this ring, and and uh, we we need uh, inter uh, so intermediate uh, finite 
address, so called plus weekly file type. If f is uh, uh, f is plus weekly file type, if and only if f is weekly first uh, f is weekly file type and and there exists a uh, file subset of B triangle or uh, no B plus finite set such that B plus is the minimal integrally closed open subring of B triangle containing Uh, F, A plus, and E. So, in, in some sense, B plus is generated by the image of A plus and this E. This is slightly weaker than the condition of fire type. This is the uh, actually this is this is this ring is uh, the integral integral closure of this ring this sub ring of B triangle F A plus B triangle circle circle cup E. Recall that. Uh, this denotes the set of uh, topologically nilipotent elements, which is an idea of B dagger circle. Mm. So this, this is the definition of uh, plus weekly of fire type. Now, now we can define the uh, proper morphism and partially proper morphism. <coughs> so what F a morphism of analytic added spaces then F is said to be separated if F is weekly I type oh sorry so so if we, we know the notion of weekly fire type and plus weekly of fire type then we can define that the morphism of analytic addict space is weekly fire type or locally weekly fire type and uh, locally plus weekly of fire type and plus weekly of fire type by, by the similar method as, uh, as we, we define the notion of local file type. So F is said to be separated if and only uh, if and only if F is locally weekly file type and and uh, the image of the di diagonal map X to is closed. But this, this, this condition is oh, this condition is uh, sim simply for the existence of this fiber product. So you, you don't care about it. In, in the case of schemes, we, we don't need uh, we, we, we need no assumption on finite S. Uh, so so th this this uh, condition is only for uh, the exist existence of this fiber product. And secondly, uh, F is said to be partially proper if 
if if f is separated if f is separated plus equally finite type oh so, sorry locally locally plus weekly finite type and and the universal is specializing What is the universal specializing? So please recall that the, uh, in the scheme, scheme case, the definition uh, pro, pro, properness means that separated, locally, uh, separated and finite type and universally closed. And the definition of universally closedness is that uh, after arbitrary base change, uh, the map is proper, uh, the map is closed. So, in this case, the, uh, 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 it is the same. So universally specializing means that after arbitrary base change, uh, the map is specializing. So I, 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 will, I will explain the, that this word, specializing. What is specializing? Uh, specializing means that, so for every x in x, uh, and uh, for every y, it is the specialization of f fx. Uh, they, there exists x prime in x such that, uh, also sorry, it is not uh, such that y, y prime is equal to fx prime. Oh, yes. So, if we take x in x, and uh, take a map y, and take an arbitrary special, uh, specialization, then we can lift this specialization to x. To map, map it. This is specialization, and this is specialization. And we, we, uh, we can lift the specialization. It is a definition of specializing morphism. If the morphism is a closed map, then it is automatically specializing. So in, in the elementary, ring, uh, uh, elementary theory of algebra, uh, this, this type, uh, the theorem of this type is called some going up theorem or coen Zeidenberg theorem in the theory of things. Yes. And finally we can define proper map. F is proper if plus weekly finite type separated and universally closed. This is uh, the usual definition. And actually it is equivalent to uh, saying that F is quasi-compact Namely, uh, every quasi, uh, the inverse image of every quasi compact open set, open subset is again quasi compact and partially proper. So, partially proper is uh, in some sense uh, proper minus quasi compact. Uh, So you, you, you want to say universally specializing something? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no
uh, so, so cruise implies specializing. So if proper, then F is quite, uh, partially proper. Yes. Um, uh, so, yes. But in general, we, we are interested in the many rigid spaces, which is not quasi compact. So it is very important to extend the properness to the non quasi compact case. Uh, so many opposing spaces are not quasi compact. So it is important to consider partially properness. Okay? And yes, and well, let, let me give some example of partially properness. Partially proper morphism. So, example is so first, let v, v be a complete discrete variation range, and k is a fraction field of it, uh, as usual, and let x be a scheme, which is separated of finite type over k. Then we, we can attack associ the associated addict space over super kv. And th this is, this is actually a partially proper. So, A1 uh, uh, is partially proper over K. It is, of course, not proper in the, in the world of schemes or uh, in, in the world of other spaces, but it is partially proper. And if, if, if moreover, more x is proper over k as schemes, then, then they induce the morphism. x add to super kv is proper. This is very natural. And one, one more example is about the random genetic fiber, uh, rigid genetic fiber. So let F be the rigid genetic fiber of it. So uh, I, I proved that it is. Uh, disk without boundary with radius 1. This is another space over super kv. And actually this morphism is, is partially proper. Hmm. This is partially proper. Uh, it, it, it is... Uh, uh, it is re related to the fact that the underlying, this, uh, underlying space of this formal scheme, which is one point, is proper. Of course, uh, if we, uh, we can also consider the rigid link fiber of the convergent power series. series. Th this is a disk, D1, Super KV, but this is not partially proper. It is related to the fact that the underlying space of this uh, formal scheme, which is a fine line, is not proper over the rigid field of V. Okay. Well, then let, let, let us uh, d define the uh, compactly support, supported homology. 
first, uh, I, I consider the case of, uh, I consider the partially proper case, which is easier than the general case. So let, so let S be a partially proper morphism. And F be a shift on X at. Then we put, we write gamma C X over Y F. This is a compactly supported section of F over, over Y. Which, is, uh, which, uh, which consists of the sections, a uh, section of F over X such that the support S, which is a closed close subset of X, is quasi compact over Y. This is the definition of a compactly supported section. Hmm. Yes, so... Oh. Yeah, the sub support S is a closed subset of X. So, uh, we, we have a mo ma ma continuous map of topological spaces, and we assume that this map is quasi-compact. So if y is quasi-compact, then it is equivalent to saying that the support is uh, quasi-compact, I think. Which one? This one? Oh, this, this one is... Uh, mm, so actually, there is no structure of added spaces on this, this set. Uh, so we, we don't define it, but we can, we can extend it to the notion of partial properness to this map, and this is partial proper, as you said. So if we assume quasi-compact, then this map is proper. So it is equivalent to saying that it is proper, and this, is the same, uh, this, is the, this definition is the same as the classical definition for topological space. I have one more yes? I hope it, but I don't know exact proof of it. Yes, I expect it. Mm. And I, I think I can prove it, but... Mm. In, in fact, there is a um, variative criterion for properness, so, mm. so probably it is possible to prove it. Mm. And we, we define the compactly supported pushward of F by this, this map. This is a shift on Y at uh, defined by F lower shriek F V2 by to be the compactly supported sections of this map. <coughs> then, uh, we can take the right derived functor of these functors. Right derived mm. and this gives a definition of uh, compactly supported cohomology. So I if you put y to be the spectrum of Kv, 
This is the definition of compactly supported cohomology for partially proper spaces, rigid space. Mm. This is a complete uh, an analog of the definition of compactly supported cohomology for locally compact uh, spaces, so by, by classical one. However, th this is not the correct definition for, uh, for general uh, rigid spaces, uh, as in the case of schemes. In the case of schemes, we, we can, of, of course, take such uh, completely supported sections and take the derived factor of it, but it is not, the, not, good, not a good theory. Uh, so, so uh, what, what we did is uh, to, to take compactification and uh, de define it by using the extension by zero to the compactification. So if if f is not prop, not partially proper, we need compactification. There is a very, uh, very nice theory of compactification in Arctic space, which is not possible uh, in, in the category of rigid spaces. So uh, I'd like to explain it. Universal, so-called universal compactification. To construct uh, a compactification, we need one more condition, which, uh, which is called tot. An added space is said to be tot. If this is very simple definition, uh, if, if x is quasi separated, and uh, for every open quasi compact open subset, the closure of it is again quasi compact. This is a condition on topological, uh, topological space. And of course, it is true for if x is quasi-separated and quasi-compact, then the, you, you, you buy the close in x and x is assumed to be quasi-compact, so it is also quasi-compact automatically. But uh, if, if x is not quasi-compact, uh, this is not an automatic, <coughs> automatic condition. This is not automatic. And a morphism from x to y is taught if for every u in y total, total open, the inverse image of it is again taught. This is the definition of total s. And uh, uh, as I remarked, uh, quasi-compact and quasi-separated means taught. And partially proper implies taught. And well, one, one more example is that, yes, but uh, for, for x, if x is quasi-compact, quasi-separated, special formal scheme, so 
So you you said for my locally for value of fire type. So quotes are separated and quotes are separated and uh, formally of fire type. Oh you fire type over V then it's rigid length fiber is taught over super KV. We can prove it. Hmm. Probably lo locally for uh, formally of finite type is enough to, to prove it. But I, I haven't confirmed it. Yes. Then the following nice theorem hold if f is sum x to y is locally plus or equally finite type separ separated and taught. Then there exists a uh, compactification of it. X to Y, F, X bar, F bar exists. So there exists a universal compactification. of F. So we can take a factorial compactification of this map. Namely, F bar is partially proper and, and J is an quasi-compact of imagine. Imagine. These, these two mean that this is compactification. Oh, of course it is commutative. So we can compactify this map to this map. And, and the following universality property is satisfied. And for any di diagram x to y to x prime x prime f prime such that f prime is partially proper so there exists a map from x bar to x prime We don't assume that this map is open image. Then we have two, two compactification of this map. And there exists a map, unique map, from x bar to this x prime, such that this and this are commutative. This is the definition of universal compactification and if we, we, we assume that f is uh, locally plus weekly of finite type separated and taught then such a compactification always exists yeah th this is a very nice theorem due to Huber If x bar is unique, yes. Uh, oh, yes, it is unique, but uh, because, uh, because of this universality. And unique as a functorial. So let me give one example of universal compactification. 
It's very interesting. Let X be a non Archimedean field. And a plus uh, A is an affinoid ring which is finite type over KK SAC. Namely, A is a quotient of the convergent power series over K, and A SAC mean, mean, uh, is a set of bounded elements of A. <coughs> so, the spec, uh, so, the super of this A is a uh, user rigid space. Why that is the universal compactification of uh, spy? What is the universal com compactification of this spy? We can write it easily. Let A plus be the integral closure of k sac a sac sac as i said this is a set of topologically topologically need potent elements in a then uh, <coughs> then there is a, so a, a plus is of course a subring of a, a, a sac. So there is a map of affinoids a, a, a plus to a, a, a sac. So we have a map of affinoids a, a sac to super a, a plus. This is actually a universal, uh, the universal compactification of this. So please, please no, uh, note that this is a rigid space, as I said, but this is no longer rigid space. This is not uh, a finite type over KK plus, but plus weakly finite type. So we extend the category of rigid space to the category of added space, then we have a good compactification theory. So th this is uh, one of the strong uh, <laughs> one of the strong points of addict space. Okay. And <coughs> more concretely, so uh, if A is equal to K bracket D, namely uh, we, we consider the case of D1, then this A plus is so, 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 such a ring, so it is generated over K sac by the power, power series, convergent power series with questions in a, 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 K, K sac such that the absolute value of AI is strictly less than one. And we, we take integral closure. This is this is a, a plus. A, a, a sac a sac is that we, we don't need this condition. In this case, super A A sac is, which is D1, is actually a subset of super A A plus co consisting of continuous variations such that Vt is less than V1. And we put automatic, uh, uh, automatic condition, Vt is less than V1, 
to make this set rational subset. Rational subset of super A A plus. We write it by D, D1 bar. Hmm. OK? So th this is a quasi compact open subset of this. And th uh, this example shows that the uh, image on J is actually quasi compact open image. And mo moreover, Yeah, I, I, I will give it. So I'm actually D1. D1 bar minus D1 is the point W1 plus, which I mentioned uh, in my first lecture. Yeah. So <laughs> do, do, do you remember it? So it, it is, it is uh, something like it. AITI to, to maximal of uh, the absolute value and i so we take max of the it and uh, I, I mentioned that it is not contained in d1 but it is contained in d1 bar because we assume that uh, all all questions uh, the absolute value of all questions is uh, uh, strictly less than one so uh, this this uh, this element is o uh, always less than one. So we, we have one more point in D1 bar. So it, it, it is very very natural uh, because the closure of D1 in P1 is equal to this set. So it is very natural. Yes. Okay. So we have a good theory of compactification, and we can now define the compactly supported cohomology generally. So let me define it. Let f, f x to y be a locally plus weekly finite type separated and taught. And we take the universal compactification of it. And put RF lower shriek is equal to RF bar or shriek with J or shriek. So first we take the extension by zero and take a compactly supported push forward by this partially proper map. This is the definition of push, uh, proper push forward from here to here. And if we put y equal to super kb, so if if y is equal to super kk sac with separably closed no Archimedean field. Okay. Then there is a natural correspondence between heaps on X set and Abelian groups because it, it is a geometric point. And the co corresponding abelian group uh, to uh, uh, the abelian group corresponding to uh, RF under shriek is written by 
uh, r gamma c x bar So this is the definition of compactly supported cohomology. Oh, if we take i's cohomology of it, we we denote it by h i's h c i i's 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 cohomology of r gamma c x bar. This is the definition of compactly supported cohomology. Okay. I I can erase it. So let, let me remark. <coughs> the remark is for tension shift. Torsion shift we have. So this lower shriek is compatible with composition. And our F RF lower shriek can be computed uh, by arbitrary compactification. In, in our definition, we use uh, co universal compactification to define a uh, lower shriek. But if we, we take an arbitrary compactification, we can uh, calculate a, a RF lower, sh lower shriek in the same uh, sh similar way. Namely, first extend it, it by zero and take lower, uh, F lower shriek by this compactified map. Uh, th these are consequences of the proper best change for Isaac spaces. Okay. Well, I, I don't, uh, I don't say, uh, I don't, uh, so, sorry, oh, it is actually uh, proved by, by Huber in, in his book. Yes, we have also smooth base change. I think partially proponency is enough. Mm. Oh. And <coughs> properties. The first property is very important one for the presentation theory and the number theory. Let x be a locally plus weekly, locally plus weekly finite type separated and taught. So please imagine the rigid space which is separated and taught over a field k. The tautness for rigid, rigid space is not is, is not automatic. And assume that X is a filtered union of an of open, sub, open subset U lambda, which is taught. Filtered union of taught opens. Then, 
the cohomology of x is can be computed by uh, as a direct limit, inductive limit of cohomologies of u lambda. So please recall that tot uh, quasi compact. Um, uh, so quasi compact and quasi separated means tot. So we we have separated here. So if if you, if you, this this map is quasi compact. Oh, oh so, sorry, it, it is it is not. So so if, if this this open is quasi compact, then it is tot. So so this proposition mean, means that the cohomology of X can be calculated by the quasi, uh, the cohomology of quasi compact opens of X. So it is an uh, inductive limit of quasi co uh, cohomology of quasi compact opens. So this is very good uh, very good properties b because. Uh, sometimes we know that uh, we, we know that this cohomology is finite dimension, and this this is uh, the inductive limit of finite dimensional representation. So we, we know that uh, if if k is a separable closure of some comp uh, complete disk, some local field. Then uh, there is a natural continuous value action on it, and we, we know that the, the action on there is also continuous, and so on. So it, it is a very nice property, which is not true for usual cohomology. Yes. Mm, for for open image. Yeah. Yes, I I I I write I write it. If if you have open image, then there is a natural map from here to there. Mm. Yeah, the functionality is covariant. And uh, the functionality is contravariant with respect to the proper map. Mm. <laughs> okay? And the next theorem explains uh, how, how, how we can compute this one by, by using formal nearby circle. Right? So let V be a CGVR with, with separately closed ready to field and let X to spec V be uh, separated of Finite type map morphism of schemes and put x, let x be a completion of x along its special, uh, its special fiber and let f be the torsion shift. Theta, then the compactly supported cohomology of t the rigid genetic fiber, rigid geometric genetic fiber of this fo this formal scheme with co quotient e e star f can be computed by as a compactly supported cohomology of the nearby cycle of F. So 
So this is an uh, uh, analog of compulsion theorem. So if, if we remove this C, then I explain this theorem uh, before. And uh, then we, we can compute the cohomology of D1. For example, compactly supported cohomology of D1. And uh, this is uh, isomorphic to the compact, compactly supported cohomology of A1, as I, uh, as I, as I explained yesterday. And this is, uh, this is isomorphic to Z over NZ minus 1 if I is equal to 2. And 0 if I is equal to, no, not equal to 2. This, this is the way how, how, how we can compute the com compactly supported cohomology. And probably, uh, so yesterday I explained one more theorem like it. So if, we, if you complete our x along uh, y, so it is the closed subscheme of the special fiber. Then uh, we, uh, we we could uh, compute the cohomology of the, uh, the genetic fiber by the cohomology of y uh, uh, with coefficient of in nearby cycle restricted on y, but it is not true for compactly supported cohomology. Theorem above. cannot be extended to the case where x is equal to the completion of x along y where well, yes, crossed. This is uh, not possible. This is by simple reason. If for if f is x is a one and y is one point in in the genetic fiber uh, in the special fiber of x, then then we want to compare h c i y y r psi z over n z restricted on y. We want to compare this and HC, TX, Yeta, far, uh, Z, Z over NZ. We want to compare this and this. But in this case, why is proper? This is equal to the usual cohomology of Y, the nearby circle. And I proved that this is right. Uh, I, 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 uh, I explained that this is equal to, this is isomorphic to the cohomology of, the usual cohomology of the genetic fiber. And this is not isomorphic in general. This is not isomorphic. Isomorphic if i is zero or two. In this case, the, 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 this is an open disk, and its cohomology is uh, if i is equal to uh, zero, then uh, so the only i equal zero uh, survives, and uh, for for this uh, only i equal two survives. So it is not isomorphic. So uh, it cannot be isomorphic. Okay. So there, there, there is uh, no, no good analog. Uh, 